This is a good question for you. How does TPM plus secure boot plus full disk encryption plus flat pack Linux compare to something like default Windows or default Mac OS or default Chrome OS from a security perspective? I mean, I mean, yeah, and security is really like an all encompassing term for a lot of things. So it's hard to like pinpoint exactly. It's it's not a not secure to secure spectrum where it's like everything is in a line. It's um, it's a lot of different factors. I think for for most, for the vast, vast majority of people, I think it's very safe to say that that setup would be more secure than any of the default setups um, on Linux. Because I think in general, Linux is um, an excellent option for, for most people to use. And um, you're gonna run into a lot more security issues if you're running these mainstream operating systems that are targeted more and, um, and are just, uh, Prodded more for vulnerabilities, that kind of thing. So I think switching to Linux is pretty much always a good choice for most people. And if it's not a good choice for your specific use case, then you probably know that and will have to make that decision on your own. So I can't really say. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm actually a little bit, because I agree with what you say. I think like, especially that specific Linux workflow is pretty solid. I think, but I also think that I, if somebody asks me for like, just a high security device for banking, but they're not a tech person. I, th I think I'm more mm -hmm. likely to like say, well, like Mac OS or Chrome OS isn't a bad option either. And there's so. certainly a lot of uh, advantages to those. I don't think that any of these, well, Windows isn't great, but I don't think that the other two are gonna be not secure. Mm -hmm. um, Chrome OS obviously has a ton of privacy concerns. I would never buy a Chromebook myself, but like Mac OS has a lot of things going for it. Like, um, like Apple is, pretty good about like requesting permissions to you for apps to use like certain hardware features like the camera and that kind of thing that's just missing on Linux for example so there are certainly things that Mac OS has that I wish Linux would adopt but I don't think you can really go wrong with any of these options I don't think like if you're logging into your bank for example if you have a Linux app you're not going to get hacked just yeah. doing that just yeah. like you're not going to on Mac OS yeah, the way people uh, bring up, I think, especially Linux security issues is just really disingenuous the way they bring it up because it's like, yeah. oh, there's this one thing Linux doesn't do. Therefore, it's gr grossly insecure, super bad. If you use it, you're stupid, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, you know, there's millions of Linux users and they're not getting hacked because they're on Linux. So either you're exaggerating these concerns or you're just not keeping enough context on them and like having a bigger picture in mind. And I feel like that's kind of where it is. And I actually think it's a, in some ways, the question is not even a valid question because you include all of these really solid security protections with your Linux configuration, but why not apply those to Mac OS or Windows? You know, if you say TPM plus secure boot plus full disk encryption plus flat pack Linux, well, what if you did, you know, Mac OS with like Objective C security tools, like enabling File Vault, um, and then like using VMs and Mac OS as like an alternative to using flat pack? So I think like you can add a lot of these security protections that you reference to these other operating systems as well. And you can really have a really comprehensive kind of security setup. So I think as long as you understand the limitations of each operating system that you're on, you can pretty much like patch up or at least be aware of those concerns well enough to know like what to do and what not to do on that operating system. But I think it's great. I think a lot of people attack Flatpak. Again, similar thing to the whole, like, you're going to get instantly hacked if you use Flatpak because their sandboxing doesn't do this one thing that I want it to do. And it's like, well, when when has this happened? <laughs> like, like in right. the real world, how many times has, like, the Flatpak um, sandbox been escaped because of this one security issue? And it doesn't mean we shouldn't make it better and try to improve it. But I think people really lose context in these things. So absolutely. That's something we talk about a lot. I'm a big fan of Flatpak. I think it's a really, especially with something like Silverblue. Like if you use Fedora Silverblue with Flatpaks, I think it's a really good place to be. Yeah, I like it. And I think that like, and you containerizing all these apps, like this is probably the best um, way to kind of take some of these Mac OS features that I was talking about exactly. too, because you can Flat do it on a per app basis. They're working on, yeah, like per app permissions for Flatpaks. They're working on like Flatpak portal where you can like limit the files that the app can access, that kind of thing. So it's a good step in the right direction for sure. Yeah. You just watched a clip from the TechLore Clips channel, which is taken from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and so much more about tech to give you a better relationship with the technology you use. Check out the main channel over here and also check out maybe another suggested video to learn more.